What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about telling everyone you know about your silver so that you can increase the price of it. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs, as well as the limited edition, only available until Christmas, DYDSS Christmas line, all red, everything, and the products are being sold to help raise funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to respond to a comment that I had received on one of my much older videos. Somebody named David left a comment on a video that I posted months and months and months ago. The comment was just posted last week, so I figured it was pretty relevant. I figured he's probably tuning in. He'll probably see this video, and hopefully it can create a little bit of a conversation. And the comment reads, All I can say is keep stacking and tell everyone you know to do so, because we have the power to raise the price of silver by increasing demand. Silver will run low in 15 years. What do you think the price of silver will be when you can't get any more? Sky is the limit. That's the comment that was left on one of my older videos, and I have my fair share of things to say in response to it. Now, right off the bat, I can think of three reasons why telling everyone about your silver so that you can get all of them to stack silver to help increase the demand which will then in turn increase the value. I can think of three reasons why that is an absolutely atrocious idea. Now, I am all for everybody having their own opinions. In my videos, I talk about my opinions. You do not have to agree with me. You don't have to like it. And I would never want to be that type of person to shut somebody out or interfere with their ability to speak freely. However, in my opinion and from my perspective, that sounds like an accident waiting to happen. And like I said, there are three reasons why I think so. The first reason is, why in the world would you want everyone you know I'm quoting you, by the way. Tell everyone you know. Why in the world would you want everyone you know that you stack silver? That goes against most stackers. I would argue pretty much all stackers. Method of secrecy or safety. If you tell everyone you know, all your friends... All your family members, all your friends' friends, all your family members' friends, all your co-workers, all... Maybe if you have kids, maybe you tell all of their parents, you tell all the people in the grocery store. If you tell everyone you know and encourage them to start stacking silver because it's going to be worth a whole lot of money one day, you're letting them know that you have something in your possession, on your property, somewhere in your house... Items that are currently or in the future will be worth a lot of money. That sounds like an open invitation to somebody breaking into your home. Telling everyone you know, do you think every single person, every single human being that you come in contact with is trustworthy? In my opinion, that sounds detrimental. That sounds like an open invitation to break into your home. That sounds like a horrible idea. But I do understand where you're coming from, and I do understand somewhat the direction you think that that would make sense, I guess, and which leads me to my next point. If you are increasing demand, increase the value. Now, in theory, the comment does make sense. Like I said before, in my opinion, it sounds like a bad idea, but in theory, it does actually make sense. If you got everyone on board and everyone started stacking silver, yeah, supply and demand. There's going to be a shortage, potentially, of silver, 
and people are going to want more of it and the value is going to go up and that's just what happens. Here's my issue with that logic though. Why would you want everyone to have a little bit of silver? Wouldn't it make more sense for a smaller number of people to have a bunch of silver? That's like saying we're going to divide up all the money that everybody makes, all of the dollars that everybody makes, and we're going to divide it up by however many working citizens we have in the country and everyone's going to have their fair share. And I know some politicians are kind of like pushing for that for some reason or whatever. That goes against everything I stand for. I don't think that it would be ideal for everyone to have a little bit of silver. Because like, well, let's just say everyone or all the people that you know all have, let's just say, a thousand ounces of silver, and it gets to the point where silver is hard to get your hands on. I would rather have 10,000 ounces of silver and the people around me who chose not to stack have a hard time getting their hands on silver. I would rather have it. I think having a small, tight-knit community who are all pretty much on the same page, or if we're not on the same page, at the very least, we're in the same book. Other people who are against silver, don't believe in silver, want nothing to do with silver, that doesn't really concern me, what they do. I don't really care what they do. I do not have any desire in the world for them to start stacking as well. They don't want to stack. I'm not going to push them to stack. I don't want to be that person knocking on doors trying to convert people to my way of thinking. Those are the kind of people that I just want to drop kick out of my door. Knocking on my door talking about that nonsense. I wouldn't want to be one of those people. Now, the third and final issue I have with this concept is the point in your comment where you said silver will run low in 15 years that's an issue I have. Now, I don't know how you came up with that exact number. I don't know how you came up with the 15-year assumption, but let's just assume that you're right. My issue is I don't want silver to run low in 15 years. I don't want the spot price of silver to skyrocket in 15 years. I plan on stacking silver for probably another 30, 40, 50 years. I don't want silver to jump up in 15 years. I plan on stacking for decades. I don't want to cash out in a decade and a half. That's too early for me. Now, I know everybody is a different age. I'm one of the younger stackers out there. I know that there's not a lot of stackers who are college student age like I am. There's a lot of stackers out there who are 20, 30, 40 years older than I am who might actually want silver to skyrocket within the next 15 years or maybe even within the next 15 months that's what they're hoping for which is why I said before we might not all be on the same page but at the very least we're in the same book for the most part so those are just my issues those are just my concerns and this is just kind of my response to a comment that I had received I'm hoping everybody watching right now can head on down to the comments and let me know what's your response. What are your thoughts to some of the points made in the comments? I, I'm not a big believer in you know bashing people or calling anybody you know names or ridiculing them, but I do believe in having conversations because if we're not talking about it, we're not learning anything. If we're not discussing different ideas, if we're not collaborating in different ways and having different tactics and different methods to wealth preservation, what are we really doing? Which is why I'm hoping everybody can head on down to the comments and let me know your thoughts. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Got a bunch of videos over there, all things money. It's not just about silver. It's not just about gold. Sometimes we'll talk about industries where a lot of cash is being made. Sometimes we'll talk about some sports betting. Sometimes we'll even talk about some prepping gear. 
Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs. And of course, the limited edition, only available until Christmas, DYDSS Christmas line, all red, everything, and the products are being sold to help raise funds for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts? What is your response to David's comment talking about how we should tell everybody about our silver and we should get everybody to start stacking silver in order to increase demand, which could potentially lead to an increase in value. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.